Install your own Wi-Fi system? Of course you can. Today we'll show you one system that you can do yourself in a snap. It'll soon be time to get outdoors and fire up the grill. Today we get advice from an expert on selecting the right new grill for you. Swimming Pool Care as DIY is rewarding and even fun. Today, we'll show you common problems that you can take care of yourself with a look at pool care troubleshooting. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Swimming pool care makes for a rewarding DIY project and could even be considered fun. Today we look at some easy pool maintenance troubleshooting solutions that will keep pools enjoyable every day. Summer is just around the corner and now is the time to get the pool in perfect pristine condition. Designing Spaces has teamed up with HTH Pool Care to present this first part of a series on DIY pool care. Paul Gillio, a technical expert for HTH Pool Care, met up with homeowner Caitlin Poolside to show us how easy it really is. The kids have been chomping at the bit to get into the pool this season, but we've unfortunately neglected it this past winter. Designing Spaces, though, was nice enough to have Paul Gillio come in and explain to us how we can keep the pool sparkling clean. You have a nice pool and patio here, Caitlin. You should be spending as much time as you can out here. I know, but this past winter we really let it go. All I did was maybe clean the filter and skim the surface. I just don't know what to do to treat it. The key to keeping it sparkling clean and clear is to simply test and balance the water. Why don't we head down to our local HTH retailer and pick up some items we might need for your pool maintenance. Let's do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick up some of the items we're gonna need. We are gonna pick up our HTH swimming pool tablet folder, which holds our chlorine tablets. We also are going to want to grab our HTH six-way test strips, which allow us to test the water and get it balanced initially. Okay. We have our balancers here on the shelf. For today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our pH plus and our pH minus, which are, is one of the most important balances for the swimming pool. Now, once we have the water tested, we might have to come back and pick up some alkalinity plus, which helps buffer the pH of the water. Okay. We definitely are going to get our HTH Ultra 3-inch chlorinating tablets. These are a multifunctional tablet that not only sanitizes the water, but clarifies the water and so helps soften the water at the same time. Great. For step three, we're going to grab our HTH Ultra Complete Shock Treatment. It is a six-in-one shock treatment that not only helps clear out the water, but has water softeners as well. And the last step for step four, we're going to grab our algae, HTH Super Algae Guard. This is not only a great preventative algae site to every, add every week, but we can also use it if you do get a, a bloom of algae in the pool. Okay. Now that we have everything to prepare the pool water, let's talk about our HTH four-step pool care program. Step one is to test and balance. That's what the test strips are for. Step two is to sanitize, which kills harmful bacteria. Step three is to shock the pool, which clears the water of contaminants. And step four is to prevent algae. That sounds pretty easy. So testing's the first step? Correct. How often should we do this? Ideally, you want to test once a week because the pool water may go out of balance. Depends on how often you swim and the weather. Let's test the water. Okay, great. Simply take our six-way test strips, pull one out, dip it down 18 inches, pull it out. We wait 15 seconds for the results. Caitlin, your pool needs some minor adjustments. Total alkalinity, your calcium hardness, your cyanuric acid, and even your chlorine level all look great. Your pH just looks a little bit high, so we can simply add a little bit of pH minus to take care of that situation. Simply pour a few ounces. And the cap has a measuring cup, Absolutely. I see. Absolutely. Pour a few ounces in based on your size of pool and where the okay. pH is. Throw it directly into the pool. Easy. Absolutely. And what's step two? Step two is we sanitize. Now, when I sanitize, how much do I need? And does the size of my pool affect how much chemical we use? Absolutely. It's very important to know how big your pool is in gallons. 
That will determine how many tablets or how much chemical we add to the pool to keep it in balance. Normally we don't do all four steps on one day, but I did want to show you how everything's done. That's good to know. Now when we want to shock the pool, how much chemical are we going to need? Based on your size of pool, it would take one bag of the HTH Ultra Complete Shock Treatment to clear the water of pool contaminants that cause eye irritation and odors. That's it? That's all you do. Finally, let's talk about algae. The key to algae is actually preventing the algae from growing in the first place. We do this by adding a small amount of HTH Super Algae Guard to the pool every week. How long do you think it'll take before we get to see the results of the treatments that we're doing? Normally you'll see results in 12 to 24 hours, and it's probably best that you're not swimming during that time. As far as the shock treatment goes, the chlorine level usually drops down low enough to swim by the next day. You can simply test it with your test strips to confirm everything's okay. So if I continue to use the HTH four-step program, my pool's gonna continue to look beautiful? Absolutely, as you've seen for yourself, it's that easy. If you want more information on any pool care products or how to take care of your pool, visit our website at hthpools.com. Thank you again, Paul, and we're gonna be having a lot of parties out here this summer. It was great to help you, Caitlin. I hope other moms feel inspired. Caitlin is typical of many homeowners who may feel intimidated by the idea of pool maintenance, but she's off to a great start by simply preparing the water. Although she will need to keep the debris out of the pool, it looks like she's got some great help for that. Go to designingspaces.tv to see this portion of the show again. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Pools, patios, Wi-Fi for your home all add up to live in a more fulfilling backyard lifestyle. Live it up and enjoy life from your friends here at Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.